I wonder what happens if I scream into it. Hey, it's Andrew Huang, and today we're gonna do a little bit of that. And we're gonna do a little bit of So today we're looking at Doubler 2, which lets you control any MIDI-enabled instrument just by singing or beatboxing. It's a really fun and inspiring tool from Voclia. Uh, I've worked with Voclia before covering the first version of Doubler, and thank you again to them for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. They've made a huge amount of improvements for Doubler 2. One big thing that so many people were asking about on the first version they actually listened to and implemented, which is that you no longer need their proprietary microphone to use Doubler 2. Uh, it's just a standalone application that you can calibrate to use with any mic that you have, uh, although a dynamic mic is recommended. The interface looks a lot nicer now. They've added a bunch more chords and scales that you can quantize your MIDI to. And then the basic premise that the whole thing is built on, singing turned into MIDI, uh, they've improved that as well with something called IntelliBend. So with IntelliBend, it's not gonna waver so much if you're being a little bit pitchy, but it will still know when you're intentionally trying to bend a note and bend the MIDI with you. So I'm sure you've got the basic idea. You can sing to trigger notes and chords. You can beatbox to trigger drums. But I wanted to show you a couple of deeper use cases that I've been having a lot of fun with. One thing I've loved leaning into with Doubler is the fact that it frees up your hands. So normally you'd be using these things to play your instrument. But now if you're playing your instrument with your mouth, you are free to tweak. So much fun just triggering my favorite drum machine here, the Pulsar 23, with my mouth. I'm sending the MIDI out of Ableton using the external instrument effect, and uh, I need a MIDI interface for that, so I'm using the iRig Pro Duo IO. Run a MIDI cable to your instrument, and you're good to go. So really handy for stuff where you want to tweak the sounds while you're triggering them. You know, maybe you're uh, making a sample pack, or maybe you're improvising a lot of fills, and uh, the way that you tweak the sound can really be responsive to what pattern it's actually playing. So it's really cool to be able to do that all at once, and uh, it saves you an automation pass. some synth on top, so I'm sending Doubler's MIDI through Ableton's stock arpeggiator before hitting the polybrute, and then just experimenting where, you know, I can hold a note and then these uh, cool melodies come out while I'm tweaking the sound. So this is what I'm singing into the mic. Da, 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 da. And then the result is... <laughs> I wonder what happens if I scream into it. Okay, I put that with a piano sound. It's pretty funny. Okay, one more really cool thing I gotta show you about voice controlled instruments. Vocoding. Vocoding. I'm a big fan of vocoders. I love how they sound, but their workflow is not ideal for everybody. Um, so you're using your voice to modulate the sound of an instrument. And uh, that means that not only do you have to be able to play another instrument, you have to know exactly what you want to play and time it up with what you're gonna do with your mouth. Your mouth kind of makes just the words and then the instrument makes the sound and the notes. Uh, but with Doubler, 
you can now generate the notes from your voice at the same time. So it's the most natural way to vocode because not only are you doing the voice part, you're controlling the notes that the instrument should play with your voice. Um, so yeah, if you're not like a virtuosic keyboard player and can't uh, you know, figure out exactly what the notes you want are on the fly as you're singing stuff, that's fine. You can just sing stuff. So here I'm using doubler's chord mode. So every note that I sing is paired with a chord from the key that we're in, and we're sending those full chords to control the soft synth that I'm using uh, for the vocoder. A cool thing with doubler two though is that you have the option of adding a bass note to every chord, and also you can send the chords and the bass notes on separate MIDI channels. So I've actually recorded the chords and the bass separately, and those bass notes are essentially the melody. They are the notes that I was singing that those chords are based on. So I could have those individual root notes controlling one synth, and then the chords controlling another synth, and then create a blend between those two sounds uh, depending on how much I wanna bring out the melody versus it being a very chordy sounding vocoder. One other cool thing about Doubler is that it can detect different vowels that you're singing as well as the volume of your voice at any given moment and you can use those as CC messages. Uh, I covered this in my previous video about Doubler so you can check that out if you want. But I'll just mention that they've made some improvements to this as well because now you can adjust the input range for each vowel so that you can really match it to your voice and you can also adjust the output range for the CC and of course choose whichever CC number you want. So there is a free trial of Doubler too if you wanna check it out, that's linked in the description. Thank you again to Vakli for sponsoring. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.